Hi, I'm Holly from Scriptix.net. I will be talking about content management systems in this video. So, let's start. What is it? A content management system is a software that helps you start your own website and to manage your content dynamically. A CMS is usually written in PHP and stores content in a MySQL database. How it works? Now here comes the fun part. A CMS has two parts, a front-end and a back-end. The front-end is what people see like published articles, images, videos and more. The back-end is the administration panel, where you can edit your CMS settings and add your content from articles to galleries and more. Managing your content is very easy with a CMS, thanks to CRUD technology, create, read, update, delete. The text formatting couldn't be easier with Visivic editors, which is something like MS Word. Visivic stands for what you see is what you get. Examples I use a lot of content management systems in all my projects, but these are my three favorite ones, Joomla, Drupal and WordPress. In this tutorial I will only show you Joomla. So, this is how Joomla's front-end looks like. Very nice. With login systems, articles, web links, contacts. Very, very nice. Now, let's take a look at the back-end. This is how the Joomla back-end looks like. Here, you can edit your site settings and manage your content. Let's create an article by clicking Content, Article Manager, Add New Article. Let's set the title, the category, and the content. Let's save our new article. Okay, now let's see how that looks like at the front end. Let's go to sitemap, articles, Joomla, and we should have one named Hello World here. And there's our article in five seconds. Extensions. Most CMS softwares allow you to add plugins to add new features to your website because a basic CMS only lets you create articles most of the time. Joomla, for example, has already built-in features like news, contact, profile and basic install. Common plugin features are forum, gallery, slideshows. Picking the right one. It's your choice. First you need a list of features what you would like and look for the one that has most of those features already built in. Because the more extensions you use the more the risk is that you can't keep up with the upgrades. Extensions are not part of the core software and are written by different developers and when the core upgrades and the extension doesn't, you're stuck with that version. Thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to visit scriptix.net.